it's time to now go and uh, find a park up back out in the Cornish wild somewhere. We're gonna head to the north and then make our way back south before heading back out. Van and we've stopped at Boss Castle. And it's very, very pretty. And uh, we don't know much about it, apart from it's got a witchcraft museum, which isn't open today, unfortunately, but uh, it's very, very pretty. Because I don't like it. <laughs> Beautiful, uh, beautiful port, <sighs> and the weather. Wow, I think it'll be a fresh one tonight. No clouds in the sky. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous location. <laughs> what are you up to? I'm bracketing. 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 What does that mean? So, when the contrast between the highlights and the lowlights are too much, you can bracket. So I put on for three brackets, it gives me a stop above and a stop below um, basically what I was going for. So it makes the picture that you want, kind of, one much brighter, one darker, and then you can combine them all. So we've got very dark shadows this side, loads of highlights that side. So you take a picture that compensates for the highlights and a picture that compensates basically 
with the shadows and then you combine them pictures together and that's bracketing. All the colours here in these rocks, absolutely gorgeous. And the sea is calm, but you can still see <laughs> in the sea, you can still see what Mother Nature will do to this coast in rough seas. It must be tremendous. Boss Castle is a village and fishing port five miles northeast of Tintagel and 14 south of Bude. On the 16th of August 2004, after heavy rainfall, two rivers burst their banks. About two billion litres of water rushed down the valley and straight into Boss Castle, causing damage to buildings and sweeping cars into the sea. With its bars and cafes, the Museum of Witchcraft, Uncle Paul's Emporium, the Boss Castle Pottery Shop and access to the South West Coastal Path, there is plenty to do and something for everyone. So Claire's just uh, walked off up the top a little bit further to see if she can get a picture of the rock formation that's you've probably just seen with the drone footage. She's gonna see if she can get a, a picture of that. It's uh, quite a complicated uh, place to get to, I think. I don't think it'd be easy to get a composition from that. Best composition would be down the bottom so you can see the size of it. But uh, yeah, nice. Oh, it's just lovely being out. We've got such whew, good weather. Unbelievable. UK's got it all, hasn't it? Absolutely got everything. Every single coastline, inland place is uh, it's just so beautiful. I'm so privileged to be able to get out here and take pictures of it. Those of you with uh, good memories may remember in 2004 Bus Castle making the, uh, making the national news due to horrendous, horrendous flooding. Here's a few uh, pictures of what actually happened. Absolutely got smashed, it did. Uh, there you go. So I think this is Cornwall. I think it, ports, rocky cliffs. Uh, if it stays blue sky, that'd be really good. But um, we do need something to add to the contrast. So we don't want blue skies all the time. But um, they'll certainly do for now. They'll certainly do for now. So let's take a walk back down into the little town. We need something to eat. I'm reluctant to uh, buy a takeaway or anything like that. So we might have to do some uh, nachos or something. And then we need to find a park up, which isn't going to be easy along here. That's for sure. I'm really glad we uh, we stopped off here. It's, uh, it's a shame the Witchcraft Museum isn't open. I bet that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, but there you go. We've arrived late. And it's a Sunday, so um, win some, lose some. Yeah, really picturesque place. Claire can't stop, but it keeps snapping. I don't blame her. I'm taking a few, but not too many. There's cafes down there, there's toilets down there. And what I need right now, pub. I'm gonna have a pint. It was years ago, but I still see your face
a knack to make in a van bed. There's nothing like you ever do at home. <laughs> Well, you're the expert. I'll leave you to it. Thanks. <laughs>
between a cave's open eye and the sea's hammering touch. So this is pretty nice, just having a walk around. We're going to see whether we can get back to the um, where the van's parked from following this hill path. We'll see. Um, and then we know which way to come later on tonight. Ambient. What are you shaking your head for? It's nature. Not when you cock your leg up at me. I didn't cock me. my leg up at you. That leg and that bum cheek went that ah. way. <laughs> I had to pass wind. These you things happen. These things happen. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I know you don't really want to know about us passing wind. There's but... no us in that. That was you at my face. <laughs> it wasn't you at me at your face. <laughs> You'd have known if it was me at your face. The wind is playing with your hair. I'm watching it paint in circles in the air. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it sounded like it had come from Merlin's cave. <laughs> 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 it does give it a new new meaning to Mer Merlin's cave. <laughs> yeah, the sea got rough. <laughs> the sea did get a little bit rough then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anyway, here we are still sitting opposite Tintagel Castle yeah. and we're doing a lot of nothing and it's really 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 nice <laughs> really nice so we paid another fiver to stay in that campsite we might stay there again tonight who knows because uh, we'd like to come back here this evening I don't know if it's going to be a waste of time because the sun's going to be setting over in that direction so with the sun setting over in that direction, it means all this is going to be probably in shadow. The only thing that will recover this from a photography point of view is if the sky lights up. Yeah. Um, and also, if it's a real clear night, if we can get the Milky Way in shot or something like that. But there's no guarantee where we're sitting is in the right place at all. But we've had a little scout around, which is really cool. Yeah, and uh, nice. It's just nice sitting. sitting. What do you think about think? the uh, Cornwall so far on the van side? Difficult, really difficult. Um, part of it's the makeup, the geology of the place. Obviously, it's seaside, but it's steep cliffs, so there's no parking on the side of them. And um, and the farm, farmland here, loads and loads of farmland, and those farmers are not giving an inch. So yeah, it's quite difficult. Um, I think we said earlier though, Tintagel's actually quite switched on with its parking. Uh, its normal pay and display car parks also have um, a, a payment for motorhomes to stay overnight and they're all reasonably priced. Yeah, so if you're making your way down to Cornwall then Tintagel is a destination, absolutely. And just make sure you've got some loose change, some coinage or some notes on you to be able to pay the overnight parking. If you're in a car, it's normal, it looks like the price is around £3 for overnight parking, but if you're in a van, uh, £5. So, yeah, there you go. Look at that, how flat that sea is out there, and that cloud bank, all parallel to the ocean. And you can see that if that was to make land, then it would be pushed up over that land mass, which would condense the uh, pressure and then you'd get a drop of rain, no doubt. Welcome to the UK. So we can't resist, but we're uh, gonna head back to the van. I can just see the top of Freddie from here. I can see uh, Camelot Hotel, is it? Or Castle? Castle Hotel, Camelot, whatever. And uh, just see Freddie in the background. So we're going to take all back to Freddy, get a camera gear and then hike back down here. 